so contrary to popular belief, and despite what the video title may tell you, uh, Super Mario Galaxy 1 isn't actually my favorite Mario game. My favorite Mario game is, uh, Mario Galaxy 2. And, uh, I feel like revisiting Galaxy 1 because, well, I just, I just felt like it. There's no reason why. There's no reason, there's no real, like, reason why I just felt like doing it. I'm just gonna be playing the video game. Enjoying it. Having a huge nostalgia trip. Okay, I found another rabbits. I am playing it on 3D All-Stars because, uh, for the life of me, I cannot be bothered to set up my Wii U. But, yeah, I am, uh, playing it on 3D All-Stars, so this is the Switch version. I'm not gonna act like I'm a complete noob and, like, know, like, nothing about it. I'm just gonna... You know, I'm trying to play the game. To play the game. Because that's how you play the game. That you've played before. With whatever. Something, something about that. Doesn't sound. But anyways, that's all the Loomis. You can really help Mama. Well, what if I don't want to help your mom? You know, I don't know anything about your mother. Aside that, like... Something about Luigi? Oh, okay. So anyways, Rosalina. One of the best girls, but I'm personally not really interested. Ooh. I've been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. To save your special one, you'll need the power to travel through space. And you're just you're just dumping this onto a <laughs> casual joke. Keep in mind, Ro Rosalina does not know Mario at this point, so she could... I mean, technically, she does watch over the universe. She could know about Mario, but yeah. Anyways. Yahoo! Mario's fists are glowing now. Disaster has struck us, just as it has visited you with Luma. I hope you can re rescue the Grand Stars. Should be easy enough. May the stars shine down on you. Then she was not real. All right, now what? Hey, shake the joy. I'm playing with the pro controller. I know I played this game before. Let me in. It's just something about this game with like the nostalgic factor that hits me so differently. I don't know if it's it's just like because I'm so like into Mario and like space themed aesthetics, but like I can say that. Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 are some of my favorite games from the series. They even beat Odyssey despite me like Odyssey, Odyssey like seven times now. Ah, oh, I remember this part. We need to find the imposter. It's what I do. Transform. I sure hope you do. Alright. Uh, so we gotta go over here. Hey, it's a big boy. Not a big boy anymore. He's dead. That's a grand star. We have to save it. Yup. But do we have to? They're using the Grand Star to power the awful machine. I think it looks like it's making something. We have to do something before the Grand Star's power is drained. Just like, just like my motivation. <laughs> Turn up, bro. I, 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 I literally am. Don't just trying to be helpful and all, but like, I'm literally doing that. I get it. I understand. But I'm literally doing that. Anyways, it's a big star. I got it. And I'm somehow flying. Wait, how am I flying? How is Mario flying? He's done it before, but like, how is he flying? Is that just the Grand Star's power? Or is... Uh, I have so many questions. Whoa. That's a place. That, that certainly is a place. Huh. And now it's orange. And that is open. And Mario. <laughs> Increase your starbit count. Well, I sure hope I did. New! Let's be honest, it's not new. <laughs> Find out. The beacon is lit again. Yay! Wait, 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 beacon? Yo, if it's a beacon, can you set it to like swiftness and like regeneration? That'd be really helpful. Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home and also home to the Lumas. Yeah, I know that much. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every hundred years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force had latched onto the ship, pulling away star bits in our power source. Power stars. Our ship had lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. That makes sense. Those, the, those who took your special one picked up the power stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. 
Interesting. So Bowser, you, a universe hopper. Go to the terrace and try to recover the power source. Easy, easy money. Listen, listen, Rosalina. You don't have to worry about anything. I am a natural when it comes to this type of shit. Just trust me on this. I know exactly what I'm doing. I may not look like it, and I may look like a stone face, like mustache, mustache individual, but I know what I'm doing. Trust me. There's just something about Mario Galaxy's physics that just like really hits me it's 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 simple it's not like complicated there's no like insane like stuff that you can pull off at least to my knowledge but still it's like very simple and i and i and i and i enjoy it anyways that's a blue star uh yes yes as if as if someone hasn't played super mario 64 before Super Mario 64 literally comes with 3D All-Stars. What am I talking about? Listen, man. You don't need to worry about it. I got it. I got it. It's okay. It's alright. I got it. Dino Piranha? No, no big deal. And here we start in Good Egg Galaxy. I, I remember Octo Goombas didn't, like, gain the ability to spit balls at you until Galaxy 2. Wait, that sounds wrong. Anyways, I'm just gonna completely ignore what I just said, and I'm gonna go down this pipe. Whee! What's on the other side? Nothing. <laughs> Whole lot of nothing. The thing with Mario Galaxy is that it's a very simplistic game, but you can't- you have to admit that, like, the music in this game is probably one of the best video game policies that you've ever heard in your entire life. For, you could not take a listen to this game and say that it is bad in any, in any, like, context. This game's OST and bad in the same sentence does not work, no matter how hard that you try. I actually didn't know that you could destroy the boulders when I was uh, young. I always just thought they were like unbreakable and you just like you couldn't do anything about it, but nope, all you had to do was just spin. And honestly, when I fought Bowser when I was younger and I tried and I like got to that point where he like covered himself in rock, where he like covered himself in rock and like attacked you in a boulder. I probably should have, like, gained the information that the boulders are breakable from that specific scene. And off we go. Where are we going? A very small, like, very small bean-shaped area. Oh. Okay. I hate those. I don't, I don't know. Why do those things exist? I'm very upset that those things exist. I, I remember, like, never taking this path when I was younger, but I... Eh, why I care? You, I'm sorry. What did that say? You've, 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 you've obtained an additional Mario, not an additional life, an additional Mario, a whole different Mario. That's insane. So what? Do like one ups, like make clones of Mario? Or I, I'm so confused as to how they work. Cause it said you've got an additional Mario. Why? Why? Is it, what? I just came here to play Mario and watch him, like, fly across galaxies. And- and kill newborn babies. See, the thing with, like, Dino Bronco is, like, it's such an easy boss. Like, all you have to do is just spin its tail. It's really not that big of a deal. It's- it's- it, it's- that's literally all you have to do. Just press the X button and you win. Even the fire dino, dino piranha did not, like, pose a challenge to me when I was younger. Literally, the only, like, problem that you have when fighting this boss is just getting to his tail. And that's it. Also, the power stars are, like, shaped differently. Is there any real reason as to why the power stars are shaped li differently than the superstars in Mario Galaxy? Or... It doesn't matter. Yahoo! Probably the the obvious answer is that these are power stars, not superstars. There's a difference. They're they're a yeah. form of like power and shit. Not... <sighs> Just weird. Oh. Aim at me and Phoebe some star bits. No, I'm gonna eat them. I'm gonna eat these for myself. Okay. Ma. Tasty. Let's call those little morsels my fee for this lesson. I ain't paying you shit! See, the thing with Star Bits, I really don't care. I... Uh, like, I'm gonna get them. I just, like, I'm not gonna be happy about it, you know? 
I'm, gonna, I'm still gonna get them, but I'm not gonna be happy about it. And that's that's our first hungry little awesome. Oh yeah, I remember. Uh, I remember this. Like, hold on. What the heck? Eh. I never. I have literally never seen that before in my life. So you know what? I'll take it. What? what? That's the thing with galaxy physics. Mario just kind of like randomly starts spinning for no reason. But you know what? For the most part, they work, and I'm fine with it. I remember like getting stuck in like a hit stun and then dying and like falling off a ledge once. So that was like kind of irritating. All right, and we're on the I'm gonna shoot this pear-shaped planet. It looks like a pear. Wait, isn't it like? Per 50 star bits, you get a life in this game. Because I remember it being different in Galaxy 2, but I, I don't know, I could be wrong. Coins have, like, no value for me. Because, like, the only value that they really have is, like, health. And that's it. So, let's feed the bitch. I'm actually, like, considering. Uh, I'm actually, like, considering. If you guys want to see me, like, 100% this game and, like, do all that stuff and get all the stars, you know, like do all that stuff then like let me know in the comments below because this game is really really damn good i would totally love to 100 as mario i don't really know if i would want to do this again as luigi <laughs> sorry Layla. a new planet was born and that's that's like i i really don't want to look into like what the movement gets out of doing that Ooh. How did Mario's legs not break there? Mario's done fucked up shit before, I'm not gonna question it. Also, how does gravity, like, just change this way? This shit is so weird. There's a lot of things I want to question, but I'm just- I just can't be bothered to. Or, like, I feel like it would be wrong if I did. You know? So I'm just not going to... I'm not going to question getting that life, though. Let me out! <laughs> and then we are here. See, now, I could... I- I could... I could get the blue sh I could get the blue sling star, like... Or not sling star, pull star, uh, chips. But here's the thing. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I love this game. This this game never fails to amaze me. Wait, how many star? It's it's three star. I'll finish off good. I'll finish off good egg, honey hive, uh, the rest here, and then do. Yeah, I'll one hundred percent the terrace. Why not? The terrace? The terrace. What? King Caliote. Oh my god, King Caliote. I love that man. He is so goofy. I love him. Yes. And it looks like we gotta go up to the roof. So you know what that means, chat? It's, you know what that means, guys? It's time to do the awesome. <laughs> yeah, I saved you. Okay. Those spiky things just hate coconuts. Got it. I forgot what the, like, requirements to do it are, but, like, if you did something very specific... Also, what was that? Snipe. And if you did something very specific, uh, the coconuts would change into, like, uh, watermelons. Duh. Got him. GG shaking him. Actually, no, don't. I didn't watch him. Oh, this is where we get it. This is where we get it. This is where we get the superior version of the star. The superstar. My favorite thing about the spin in Mario Galaxy is that... You can literally do it anytime you want, and you could just jump out of it. Like, if you're on the ground, you could just jump out of it and do it again. And that's just like, I don't know, it just, it just like marinates with my... It just like... Anyways. You're invincible. And you also have this banger music playing. Like, how can you not love this? This is great. But look at him! Look at Mario run! Look at Mario go! He's so happy! Can I just say, I... I don't really care for like the power, the like freezing when you grab a power up in a Mario game. Uh, when you when you like grab a power up and the game freezes for a second, 
I don't really care for that. I would prefer the game like continue to go. You know? Like it didn't like if the game didn't freeze when you grab the power up, that just like I don't know. I just feel like that would be better. Anyways, we're on an airship now. What's up, yo? Oh. I did it. Totally didn't miss. Totally didn't miss that. Nope. But, hey! An extra, uh, uh, a health mushroom. I'll also take you. Oh, oh, I can't collect another star bit now. I, I can't collect another star. Oh, fuck. I, I was about to make the joke and say I would go the entire level without collecting another star bit, but like. Well, the time's already passed. Hey, buddy! Uh oh. Tentacles. That's not good. Oh, it's an octopus. Okay, thank god. Every fiber my Ah! The thing with King Caliante, it's like it's a good boss battle. And it's a very simple pattern. But it's so like memorable. You remember hitting him you remember hitting the, the coconuts back at him when he when he shoots him at you. I swear to god I remember you being able to do this. Hold on. Well, it doesn't matter, he's already dead. I remember you being able to shoot a star bit at the, at the, uh, the little blue fire guys. The, the lava bubbles. Fire bubbles? Lava bubbles? Whatever you call them. Eh. Anyways, we got the star. That's all that matters. I'm sure he does. Also, I, I am fully convinced that, uh, Honey Hive and a few select other galaxies are, like, probably the most memorable galaxies from this entire game. Yes. Like, there are some good friggin' galaxies in this game. I just, uh, can't remember them for the life of me. My most fond memories come from, like, Freeze Flame Galaxy and Gusty, and, uh, Gusty Garden. The Bee Mushroom. It's... I'm, so, I'm I'm upset honestly like it's such a good it's such a good and like unique power up I'm so, I'm upset that it only got used in Galaxy. I would totally love to see the beat like some of the power ups in Galaxy be like reused from like other mainline um, Mario games. Like imagine a 3D platformer where you just like you have the bee mushroom, you have the the, the bee mushroom, the ghost mushroom, and all those. That'd be really cool. See, here's the thing. I got B Mario right. Well, never mind. I was about to say I'm probably gonna lose him there, but I thought I thought I was gonna lose him there, but I didn't. Anyways, oh, well, I lost him there. Cause that's usually how it works, right? Also, you can't get you can't get damaged by those by walking into them. I assume it's only like if you have the bee mushroom that you can only take damage from them. But speaking of. You walk, still like, despite being a bee, you walk normal. You like, like, you still walk slow when you're walking in front of you, which does make sense for like, I mean, come on, you're a bee. Okay, getting the star, let's go. Oh, I remember this part. I remember this part. Oh, dear lord. See, here's the thing. I get it, it's a bee and all, but like, why are you climbing on honey? It's not even honey, it's honeycomb. Bees can do that. I'm, I don't know why I'm talking. I, I, I'm just gonna shut up now. I still think it's a little bit strange you can only climb when you're not being Mario. Jesus Christ, this is, uh, this section. And how much you do? A, a psychic, a psychish, psych, psychician? I, I don't, why would anyone want to do this? This is, this is so wrong. I see exactly what's making you itch, but like, why would it be itchy? Why, why do I have to climb on you? And don't talk to me like that. I don't like to make you extremely uncomfortable. Shut up! Captain Toad, get me out of here. Give me the fucking star. I'm not a bee. It's me. It's a me, Mario. <laughs> It's a me, Mario. Give me your fucking lunch money. You got lost with Luigi? Jesus Christ. I'm just, I'm just glad I don't have to relive that. <laughs> oh, I'm here. Mario, your name is Mario. Yep. Your friends just arrived. Mario, this is such a nice ring. Look. It's, it's, it's three syllables. Hey, you want to talk? Somebody made it to. We'll help you get the power stars and save Peach. You can count on us. Okay. I mean, personally, I would, I would let Toad help me. Like honestly, he seems frustrating. 
Sorry, Captain Toad. Trouble on the tower? Trouble on- I'm sorry, but trouble on the tower sounds like- It sounds like something else, and I'm not gonna go into detail. Because if I did, I would get shot. It's See, see what I mean with like galaxy physics? Like, I got hit here. I got hit like there. And it sent me like all the way back here. That's insane. Okay, I'll be real for a second. Nothing beats that euphoria. Alright, the wiggler. Hey, hey, buddy, how you doing? Uh, Baba Booey. Alright. Dude, gravity is so weird in this game. <laughs> like, logically, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Also, can I just talk about how they nerfed this star in, uh, in Mario Galaxy 2? Because they made it so only Mario's after image is, is, uh, is rainbow, not his, like, his entire body. His entire body's only red. What up, son? Ouch. Yo, what up, son? How you doing? Ah, I killed your son. How do you feel? Got him. Well, that was easy. It's almost as if I'm playing a Mario game. Yahoo! I got star. Yay. Yay. You know, when I was a kid, I used to have, like, mild to severe entomophobia. If you don't know what entomophobia is, it's fear of bugs and, like, you know, stuff like that. And, uh, this does not help. I still, I still kind of, like, have that. Anyways, time to go, uh, yeah, do whatever. Let's see if I can get up here first. What the hell? What? 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 Huh? What? What happened? That was the first time I died, by the way. What the? What happened? Whatever. I'm not gonna question it. I'm gonna move on with my life. Improve myself as a... Improve myself as a person. It's the three musketeers. We gotta kill them. Die. Well, that's one of them. I, 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 I tried to read him there. Hey, oh god, oh god. The neighbors are ca causing trouble again? Then call the cops. Like, just file a noise complaint, bro. You don't need to be calling up super fucking Mario. I guess while he's here, he might as well- Oh, Jesus! Yeah, I can kind of see, like, why I was afraid of him. Like, this guy, as a kid. It's just, like, something about bugs, like, crawling around on me. I just don't like it. It's just uncomfortable. Anyways, this guy, this guy is, uh, weird. Why is he red? Uh-oh. That's a bomb. Yep, he's running around. Okay. And GG. That was like, why on his end? Okay. And he's dead. Yeah! So the bees, so the bees were having complaints about their neighbors, so they hired, so they hired Mario to go assassinate them. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I'll do loop-de-loop -loop first, but then I'll do... Uh, last two, or no, last three galaxies. So just like four galaxies left, roughly. In this entire video, I mean. Surfing 101? I mean, can't Pokemon just like learn that move? Are you a surfer too? Yeah. Totally. Oh, but this is your first time Ray surfing, right? You surf on Manta Ray? So I gotta beat this in, I gotta get sub 130. See, this is entirely doable, but like, the 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 other version of this like the green star the green star one that one's fucking hard Whee! he flies he flies again he flies for a third time all right hard right here okay uh a little bit okay whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. okay steady right. and we're good nice we got a minute we were one off from 69! No! 160! One minute, a minute 68? Oh. Ugh. One off from 69. I'm gonna, I'm gonna forever bully myself for that. We have discovered an enemy base. Yeah, it's Bowser. Or sorry, Bowser Jr. I forgot. You don't fight Bowser until like the second area, which is weird. The thing with Flip Switch Galaxy, it's such a short like galaxy, but it's like, it's like, the, the area one remembrance galaxy, you know what I'm saying? Like you would you would uh, like remember it for a while. This is like the galaxy that you would entirely blame yourself if you fucked up, cause like it's so obvious like when the when the things are gonna move, when like 
the electric shit is gonna be there. Yeah. And like, you know what I'm talking about, right? Let's go kill Bowser Jr., shall we? Let's go kill him. Kill him. Why is why is it just Bowser's disembodied head? Oh yeah, by the way, fun. I remember I remember this thing that you could do. Uh, I forgot which like very like one you did it off of. But I, I remember it being, uh, wait, no, it's not, I, I don't remember, wait, like, which area you did it off of. Oh, oh, it, it almost did it. I think it was this one. Yep, okay, there we go. Whee! This is bad, it's okay. And you can just look away from Bowser Jr. <laughs> I always found that Bowser Jr. is, like, I always find it weird that, like, Bowser Jr. is, like, as big as Peach in this game specifically. I won't even need my dad's help to take care of you. Go get, go at him, Megaleg. Stop with the power of your grand star. Shut up, bro. You built like you better ask your friends. So guys, what are we about to, what are we gonna do today? Head ass. Uh, I was just kidding. Can we talk about this? Man, the, the bosses in Mario Galaxy are like extremely memorable. I'm pretty sure if you like thought back to when you first played it, it would definitely like be remembered you're like oh yeah i remember that i remember that i remember this boss perfectly because it's like it just it just it's just something about your mind it just like it just like always stays in your memory just how good these bosses are like, like how good this game is for those bosses how memory how like your memory works and like you know uh how good it how I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's it's weird. Anyways, we killed him. And uh, we 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 did it. Big freaking star. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I I. I, 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 I it's, it's yellow. Or orange. I'm not gonna make the same mistake again. It's it's it, that's yellow. That's yellow. I am very like stupid when it comes to being able to tell what color is what color. Anyways, last thing I'll do for this video. This fucker. Hey you. Yeah you. You got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst. I'm sure you will. <sighs> Ironically enough, we go to a, a galaxy themed after like sweets and candy and pastries and like, you know, stuff like that and cake, food, sustenance. I'd say this is like one of the more memorable Hungry Luma stars from Mario Galaxy. Because it's like. Not a lot of the Luma stars are really like memorable for any reason. Like, uh, like I could, like I could describe one Luma star that you guys can all like to say that you either forgot about or you just like don't didn't really care for, and that is the Luma star from uh, from the, the fountain where you had to like sling your, sling yourself around on the. Uh, the spider web things and get to a star remember because if you actually like remembered that fucking star then uh you're you're you're, you're silly you're silly I, I i don't really know what else to say there you're just kind of you're just straight up silly anyways we got the star very nice very nice very nice 11 stars an hour an hour into the recording i'd say that's a good time to stop wait a minute I would so so I would stop here, but there's one more one more thing that we should do. There we go. Now it's a perfect time to stop the video.